What is up you guys, Raiko here, and today's commentary topic is lucid dreaming. But before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know I recorded this in theater, so please don't get mad because some parts are like scratchy or, you know, just not clean. But for those of you who don't know, lucid dreaming is where you basically have control of your dream well at least to me that's what lucid dreaming is the real definition is being aware that you're in a dream and having control over some things in your dream but i think a true lucid dream or lucid a true lucid dreamer is someone who can control their dreams not every single thing but has pretty good control over their dreams and I'm just gonna tell you guys about my lucid dream experience. It was kind of a fake lucid dream, but basically what happened when the movie around when the movie Inception came out, I had a friend called Gravestone. He had like a number in there. I've, I'm not friends with him anymore. But basically, he went to go see Inception, and so did his friend. And then, basically, it's about lucid dreaming in a way. So I just thought it was cool. So I searched it up all night, you know. And then it was, probably was stuck in my head. So I had a dream about it. And basically what happened was I was walking with my grandma. Don't ask me why. We were just walking. And then I was controlling shit with my mind. Or at least I thought I was controlling shit with my mind. Like I was making buildings appear. The streets appear. Anything that I thought about would happen. It was crazy. But then all of a sudden I stopped lo getting control. Like the buildings would like disappear. Shit would happen. The ground would shake. It was so weird. It felt so real. And then... Like, the ground was shaking shit, a bunch of shit was happening, and then all of a sudden, there's a bright white light, and I'm in, like, a fucking, like, facility or something, and then it's for lucid dreaming, and they said that I was about to do something that no lucid dreamer should do. And I'm, like, thinking, what the fuck? I'm in a dream. What the hell? I thought I was lucid dreaming. I don't know what my mind was doing, but I guess they didn't want me to think about the next thing that I was going to make happen. But, yeah, I'm in there. I'm, like, trapped. All the walls are white. There's, like, a beam in the middle. They're, like, writing down notes and shit. I'm, like, tied up, kind of. And then they just keep on talking to me. There's, like, two girls there. They're all in, like, lab suits. And then there's, like, a guy in a lab suit. And then all of a sudden, they pick me up. And then I'm in a new room with just the guy got in the guy suit. And then I'm not tied anymore for some reason. So what I do is I take this little gun thing that he has. It was like a tube. Like, you guys know what a baseball game where they shoot out the t-shirts? It kind of looked like that. I shot him with it. He gets knocked to the ground. And then without realizing i'm trying to figure out a way out all the doors are locked the guy pushes a button there's like red lights everything the place goes on lockdown and i'm thinking what the fuck is happening i don't know what the hell is happening so i'm just like i just like sit there trying to figure out what to do next i take out like two of them with that stupid gun thing but they're just knocked out i never really killed them but i'm still like what the hell so then they take me out of that room bring me back to the original room i don't know what's gonna happen to me they're just like all like looking at me talking to me telling me not to i shouldn't have done what i did and i'm still confused thinking if i'm in a lucid dream what the hell are these people doing here i thought i could control it but yeah and then eventually i woke up i can't remember what happens at the end I think I'm still there, and they were, like, about to kill me or something. But that kept me thinking for the next few weeks, like, what the fuck was up with that dream? Because I had no clue what happened. I guess I wasn't supposed to think about the next thing that was going to happen. And I don't know. Maybe people who lose the dream, it's like a jail for them. I don't know. It's definitely not that, but I just like to think it is. So it make me feel cool, because I was in a special place. But yeah, lucid dreaming is supposedly supposed to help people who have nightmares a lot because then they're aware of when they're in a nightmare but i've had nightmares where i know i'm in a dream i'm saying wake up this is a dream i'm screaming it and then the thing whatever it is or whatever's happening still happens and i don't wake up so i just think that's a lie it's just some fake bullshit and another thing is there is also a tea i don't know how it works i think i'm pretty sure it works it's called lucid tea and basically it helps you lucid dream i guess it like helps out whatever chemical in your brain or whatever the fuck it is like it boosts it or something so it could help you have control over your dream or know that you're in a dream uh, people used to do this in the old days that some philosopher or some shit came up with it and that was the cure for people who had bad dreams a lot and shit like that um, in my next commentary I'm probably going to tell you guys about my worst dreams or my repetitive bad dreams that I had 
I don't know. I just like dreams. I don't know why. I've always been into the topic of dreams. But, yeah, guys, that's it for this commentary. Hope you enjoyed my dream. It was pretty weird. It wasn't, like, a bad dream or anything. 